Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into the Never Ever Mints. So it's the next day. Um, Brandon has already said that he is fine having a friendly relationship with Sienna, but nothing romantic or anything because Sienna's a lot and I don't blame him. She was way too much. So Tarana has come in the room. She has asked for Sienna to come downstairs, her and Brandon. This is not good. So as they are sitting there talking, she was like, Brandon, you know, you voice that you don't want a romantical relationship with Sienna at this time. And due to the fact that we brought you here as a couple to move forward in your relationship and you're not wanting to do that, we're going to have to ask you to leave. And Brandon understood that, right? Even before she came uh, up here to get Sienna and Brenda, Sienna was like, you know, I know Brandon doesn't want to do it, but I'm still in. How are you still in? You had the worst attitude with him. The worst attitude. Now that they're leaving, she was like, I learned a lot about myself. And I can send him back out to the world. Thank God. Because you are not what he needs. And you don't need to date anybody on the internet anymore. Let's keep going. So Toronto has come out and she said get ready for a field trip. She told them why Sienna and Brendan had left that they understood that. And so Diamond went and got her food and went and sat down in the living room before they get ready to go on this field trip. Erin comes in and she was like, look, I don't want to be around fake people. He was thinking that she was talking about everybody else, but she was also talking about him because he did not take up for her when she was taken up for, what's her name? The girl that's with Chris. And she was like, all oh, y'all are fake. After Diamond called him fake, he went in and called a meeting, right? He said, I don't have a problem with nobody. He said, but I don't like you. And he was talking to Jody. And he was like, all my 50 years experience lets me know it's not going to work. Aaron, and you going to come back to me and you going to let me know it doesn't work. Y'all have no chemistry. Everybody sees it. Then Jody's like, I don't care if you don't like me. He had got so loud, Aaron finally got up. And kind of defended Jody a little bit, right? But I'm with this Aaron up here, the Aaron that's with Diamond. I don't see nothing with Jody in, in this Aaron. I don't even know if this Aaron, well, I'm going to keep that to myself, but let's keep going. Child, so since uh, Diamond has called everybody fake, baby, it's coming out. So Chris decides to stand up and make a speech about the fact that he has not said anything about Jody because everybody seems to have been talking about her, right? Then he starts to point at everybody to say, have you heard me say something? Have you heard me say something? Millie and Greg back here was like, y'all, we, we don't care nothing about that. We don't care nothing about it. So he goes on to say, I just wanted to be known because I haven't said anything bad about her. Now, Sandia, his girl, is sitting there looking at him like, why are you making a speech? Then he goes off and says that Jody is his favorite person in the house. Millie gets up, and because Diamond was like, did nobody have my back? She let him know, your focus should be on your girl, not Jody. And you just said Jody is your favorite person in the house. How do you think Sandia feels? I need Chris to go. So then Aaron runs back to Diamond, like, babe, did I do good? She's like, I see you, babe. That's all I wanted, right? So he's good. He said they going to the boom boom room tonight. So, okay. But Chris comes in here with his gaslighting, right? He comes sit down like he is so distraught. And oh, I don't know, this is every day with me and her. I don't get it. Now, it's not like she didn't hear him say that Jody was his favorite person, right? Then he tells her, I need you to stick beside me. I'm going to stick beside you. I didn't come here for another woman. I came here to be with you. But, sir, you don't act like you come here for this lady right here. Not the way you be up behind Jody. And she's like, oh, my God, what's going on? She's hurt. But I need him to go. So he's like, I hope that she knows that she should listen to me and not other people. And then he says, don't let them get into your head. Don't let him get into your head either. He is a, I don't even want to call it, whatever y'all want to say, he's that. So the field trip was to this studio where they're practicing Sabari. Um, it's the teachings of bondage. So they're going to be tying each other up. Cha. So they didn't get this intricate. <laughs> but you can see Diamond is real excited. And she tied up Aaron 
and uh, Millie tied up Greg and Jody tied up the other Aaron. Of course, Chris didn't want to be tied up and he tied up Sandia and um, the, the couple in the back that get along and stay out of the way, the one that's been together for 12, 10 years, he tied her up. So once they were all tied up, he asked them to get some feathers and they did like feather play. And they was like, allow your partner to just receive it, right? Then afterwards he was like, untie your partner. And if it took you five minutes, take 10 to untie them. Slowly, passionately, it was kind of sexy. So after Millie was through untying Greg, you know, it was like the aftercare. That's what they call it. That's what I heard. I'm just saying that's what I heard. And, you know, it was slow. She rubbed his head. She gave him a hug. She gave him a kiss. Real sweet. Then these two back in the back. Like, it's so much aftercare going on over here. He hadn't even taken his blindfold off yet. Like, they got it together. Even these two. She seemed to be happy in the moment. But it was sweet. And them in the back, they got it going on. But these two right here, Aaron and Jody, he was, hold on. He was looking around at everybody, like, hugging and kissing and after caring. And when he turned back to Jody, he was like, is there something else that we need to do? This is Jody saying, nope, 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 we don't need to do anything else. She did say that she has spoken to Aaron about what has happened to her in the past, right? And she is real slow to the bang bang. But now she's a bang bang therapist and she knows how to do it the right way where you can really, where she can really enjoy it. But Erin is like, I think she likes me, like she's attracted to me, but not sexually attracted to me. And I just don't know about Erin. Let's keep going. Wait, Erin said that he feels like Jody likes his mind, but he doesn't make her girly parts tingle. I think that is, I think that's correct. Child, so Taronda has come in there and she said that um, Sandia has said she wanted a relationship expert. So to his surprise, Chris, they have one. And he is very apprehensive, which means he's very closed off. But when she got up to go, she was very excited. So when they go in there and sit down, the woman tells her she's a relationship expert and all that. Baby, when I tell you it was 54321, she let it loose. She was like, he doesn't listen. She was like, he doesn't take my feelings into consideration. He doesn't want to hear it. And I feel like if I have a problem, I need to talk about it. And he just kind of blows it off. And she said he's really friendly and touchy-feely. And basically, she doesn't like that. So he goes, no, my reason to be here is not malicious. I'm not here for anybody else but her. Okay. So he says he feels like she's trying to attack him, right? And he said he's not good with all the emotional stuff. But he's never sat back and listened and reacted to what she was asking him not to do. Like, he wants to continue to be friendly and talk to Jody, his favorite person. But he's not taking any consideration into how it's making her feel. And now he's telling the therapist, this is who I am, basically. So Chris realized that he should have empathy for Cynthia, right? Then she tells the therapist that he's been wronged in past relationships. And she goes, oh, okay, that's different. Now you're going to have to have empathy for him. That's not going to be good because he's going to use that every time he can. He's a gaslighter. So Aaron is excited that his friend is here, right? He is ready for him to meet Diamond. Also, he has told him that he plans on proposing to Diamond before they leave here. Now, Diamond's sister is on the way. Aaron's not ready to see her because they got into it on social media. So Diamond's sister told her, I don't like him. Aaron said, you don't have to like me. I'm not talking to you. He said, I saw your picture and I don't like you either. I'm talking to Diamond's fine behind. Okay. Baby, this is Diamond's sister, and you already know what this face means, right? She telling her when they went on a date, he cried. She came with it. The reason she's so hot and she don't want to hear none Diamond got to say is because Aaron had proposed to another woman, right? And then Diamond forgave him. She hasn't. When all he had to do was book a ticket to get over here and see Diamond. I get this face. Child, he came in trying to introduce his friend to Diamond, end up talking to Irene. Irene then said something about his kids. He didn't call her the B word. Diamond don't know what to do. 
I'll see y'all next week. <laughs>